The United States was built on an agricultural background. 2% of the U.S. population works to feed the other 98% of our country. My name is Dana Empett of Empett Farm. Our family farm dates back to the early 1900s. The farm has been in the family for at least six generations. Cows like routine. Most cows are milked two to three times a day. And if you speak with most dairy farmers, especially on a smaller farm, their day is at usually a 15 hour day. Rick and I have been married for 18 years. Rick oversees a general farm. It's been his passion to farm since he was younger. I definitely think our children love it. They've all found their own interests in terms of what they like most about the farm. I think if you're going to be a, a farmer of any sort and work with animals, you really have to have a passion. And really, on a daily basis, we're most concerned about the animal's well-being. This is a newborn Jersey calf that was born yesterday. She's about 24 hours old at this point. We use these calf blankets to keep them warm, especially during the colder weather. I would say animals definitely have personalities. You walk through the barn, there's certain ones that will come up to you and nuzzle you or chew on your sleeve. So this is our calf, Giggles is her name. This here is Atlas and she is a Guernsey. This is a Jersey calf, she's about two months old and her name is Sweet Potato. The few different parts of being an American that I really think go back to why I chose to be involved in agriculture. We have the freedom and the liberty to pursue whatever occupation and business we want. And the fact that as a woman in the United States, I didn't have to second guess my decision to go into agriculture. Females have equal opportunity and in fact, about 50% of the farms in the U.S. have a female as one of the primary decision makers. Agriculture is certainly part of our heritage. And I think if you look at the values that we want to instill in our children and future generations, a lot of those values are taught working on farms. Whether it's hard work, dedication, not giving up, and I think the compassion, the learning how to respect and treat others that you learn with working with animals really carries over into other aspects of society. You know, our goal is to feed America, and we want to hope that farm families continue to be valued. <laughs>